Where in the Bible does it suggest, doesn't suggest, where does it state that expository preaching is the marching order for the pastor for the sake of growing a healthy church? I'm glad you asked. It's found in 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 6 through 8. Paul tells us, <laughs> I'm almost out of time here. I am locked up, chained in a cell in Rome, his second imprisonment, and I am not hopeful that this is going to end well for me. In other words, 2 Timothy, it is his swan song. What is the advice that he gives to Timothy, who Paul feels quite confident he's not going to be able to see, at least at church? He's hoping that Timothy can come to him, but he's not confident that he's going to go back to Timothy. And so in the first five verses of 2 Timothy 4, he gives Timothy his marching orders. This is what I want you to do, young Timothy. This is how I want you to grow a healthy church. Get ready for these words. 2 Timothy 4, verse 1, I charge you in the presence of God and of Jesus Christ, who is to judge the living and the dead, and by his appearing and his kingdom. Stop right there. Did you catch that? I charge you in the name of God and an equality sign, which means Jesus is God. I charge you in God's name. This is an earnest command from the apostle. Verse 2 of 2 Timothy 4, preach the word in season, out of season, reprove, rebuke, exhort with complete patience and teaching. Whoop, there it is right there. I charge you, young pastor, I'm not coming back. You're going to be leading that church. Preach the word. Only two times, in season and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort, teach. What? The words of man? No, the words of God. That is the foundation of a church, the preaching of the word of God. Why? because Paul knows there's going to be temptations to do otherwise. 2 Timothy 4 and verse 3, For the time is coming when people will not endure sound teaching, sound contemporary enough for you, but having itching ears, they will accumulate for themselves teachers to suit their own passions. Timothy, you're going to be tempted, just like the 21st century church, to give in to the pressure of the world, tickle their ears, give them what they want, put on a show, be a rock star. Refuse to listen to the world's longings. Preach the word, uh, he concludes. The world will turn away from listening to the truth and wander off into myths. As for you, be sober-minded, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. What is his ministry? Preach the Word. Those are our marching orders. If we want to build healthy churches, we will preach the Word expositorily. Hey, hey Todd. sweet. Take around the block a few times. Who's a good girl? You're not because nobody does good. No, not one. Romans 5 says we're born in sin and iniquity, no, and our no, hearts no, are deceitful no. and wicked. You know that if you'd use the law, which brings about the knowledge of sin.